Hi, my name's Luke Klepsch, and I'm here to teach you a little bit more about the harmonica. Um, I want to teach you the blues scale. Uh, we've been so far dealing mostly with practical stuff, we're going to get a teeny bit into the theoretical stuff. So the blues scale is also known as the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, pentatonic uh, means five notes, five tones. Penta, like a pentagram, is a five-sided something. Um, so there are five notes in the blues scale. As we've talked about before, when the two draw and the three blow are the same note. So you can start on either one of those. The two draw generally is uh, preferable a lot because we can bend it. So we, kinda, we can kind of get that. But there are times when we want to use a three blow. You can use them interchangeably. Just, just play with that and have fun with that. Uh, so the, the blue scale comes originally, its origins are from Africa. Uh, and when the slave, uh, slaves, they have a slightly different tuning, the five note scale on the balaphone or whatever types of instruments they were playing over there, I think. It's, a, it's kind of like a xylophone with a gourd underneath it. And when the slaves came over in the 18th and 19th centuries and had instruments such as guitar, harmonica, piano, they tried to take that sound that was in their ears and hearts and souls and translate it onto the Western instruments. Uh, and it doesn't quite fit, and so... Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about intervals, and if you don't have any experience with mu music theory, that m might be foreign to you. That's okay. Uh, we still want to be able to play this on the harmonica. I think you're going to find that it helps you a lot as you're trying to figure out other songs that you want to learn and things like that. So we're going to start with what I'm going to call the one or the root, which is going to be the two draw. I'll refer to it as the root so that it doesn't confuse us with the whole numbers. So we have the root, that's either the two draw or the three blow. And then the next note, it's honestly the blue third. It's not quite a major third. It's not quite a minor third. It's somewhere in between. But what it's going to translate onto the harmonica is we're going to be drawing on the three hole and we are going to be bending it down a half step. Remember the three hole, uh, as you remember from our earlier video, we can bend it down a half step or a whole step or all the way down to a step and a half. So we have a lot of room that we can bend on the three hole, which can make it a little bit challenging for us to find out exactly where we want to have it be in tune with what we're trying to get at. So, there's the three draw unbent. If I bend it down a half step, it sounds like this. And that's the note that we're typically going to be playing as the second note of the blues scale, okay? If we went down further, that's going to be too far for our purposes at the present moment. So the first two notes of the blues scale, let's play them together, sound like this. And then, which is a half step below. Okay, so then the next note is going to be a perfect fourth above the root, and that is going to be on the four blow. So now we have this. And then after the four blow is going to be the four draw. So now we're going to have these four notes. And then we are going to uh, go to the five draw. Uh, just how, as we were doing in the last video on the trill between the four and five. So we have this. So we have those five notes. And then we will complete the scale by playing, excuse me, the six blow. That'll be our upper, that'll be, we're back to the root again. So from the root on the two draw or the three blow, we're going to play up uh, four more notes. So a total of five notes. And then we're going to complete it on the six blow. So one more time, we'll be on the two draw or the three blow. That's our first note. Second note is the three draw. Third note is the four blow. Fifth note is the four draw. Uh, I'm not sure if I said that right. We've got the, the root, which is the two draw. Then we've got the three draw. We've got the four blow, the four draw, the five draw. And then we're going to be back to the root on the sixth blow. So it sounds like this. And now we want to come back down.
and that's our blues scale. Now we're gonna go ahead and add one more note. We're gonna add a passing tone uh, and that is gonna be when we're on the four draw, before we um, do the four draw, we're gonna bend it down, okay? Uh, when we're ascending through the scale and which will make sense as I'm playing it and then reverse so when we're coming back down. So it's gonna sound like this. I'm in the bent position. Now I'm gonna release it. Now coming back down. And that is one octave of blues scale, of the blues scale. And this is where the majority of your uh, time is going to be spent when you're playing cross harp blues on the harmonica is kind of from the one draw actually, which we'll get into in another video. But for now, we're just gonna focus on from the two draw to the six blow, okay? Those are kind of our, our money notes there. And, and that's our little blues scale. So let's try playing that together again. Coming back down. Okay, so those are good notes that you can start playing around with. You can try and take different patterns through the blue scale. This is a really good thing to do. And the lick that I opened up this video with, which is a really nice way to end a tune, is one way to kind of experiment with taking a pattern uh, through the blue scale. And what I did on the opening lick was I kept taking every, I'd play the root, the root and then the second note, and then the root and then the third note, and then the root and then that bent down passing tone. And then, the, so it sounds like this. Back to the root. Four blow. Five, I mean four draw bent down. Four draw released. Five draw. Six blow. Okay, and so that gives us a nice little look uh, lick to uh, end up a tune like this. And to end it there, I did a I did a six blow and then a five draw. Okay, so it was a little bit more complicated than I thought than I thought it was. So let me explain to you exactly what I did there. So I'm I'm doing I'm doing all these roots on the three blow. By the way, this this uh, particular uh, sequence of notes is I I find is easier to do with the three blow rather than the two draw. So three blow. Then we're gonna do blow and draw on the three. Okay, are you with me so far? Then we're gonna go from the three draw to the four blow to the three blow. So the whole thing is gonna sound like this. Okay, and I think from there, Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm um, starting on the last note that I finished each time. So we start on the three blow <laughs> to the three draw. Then from the three draw to the four blow and then back to the rope. Then from the four blow to the four draw bent down and then back to the root. Then from the four draw bent down to the four draw released and then back to the, re uh, and then back to the root. So it sounds like. Okay, and there's that little lick again of just um, bending the four draw and sliding it down to the two, two draw again. And then the last two notes that I'm, that I'm doing, I'm blowing out and sliding up to the sixth blow. Okay, that's our, that's our root at the top of the blue scale. 
and then I'm sliding up to the five draw, and if, if you want to, do the trill between the four and the five, so. And there I'm bending the trill down a little bit. So let's try that look again together. Uh, it's a great way to end a tune. Okay, three, four. And that's a great way to end the tune. Okay, hopefully that was clear. I know it got a little confusing there in the middle. That lick was not quite as easy as I thought it was, but hopefully it's clear. If you have any questions, send me a message. I'll try and clarify it. Thank you again so much for watching. Whew.